All right, Libra. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Libra. Or, oh, you got the ring. A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. Okay. This is going to be a love reading for the end of May, for the remainder of May. For the sign of Libra, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the Most High, you are welcome into this reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Librans. Let's see what messages we have. First card is for Libra. Second card will be for the person on your mind or your love interest. Okay, so we've got sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Okay, so uh, there could be some, you know, sexual union, okay, that you're needing to honor or that you are honoring. Um, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change which is beyond our control. Okay, so this is for your person. Also keep in mind energy can be reversed, so flip it, switch it according to your situation, Libra. All right, so these messages may or may not resonate with you depending on your connection you have. Uh, with this person, this is going to be from the Hidden Truth Oracle. So this is, the, you know, the messages that have been left unsaid between you and whoever this person is. If this is someone that you don't know, then these messages may not resonate with you. They may or they may not. I, I couldn't let you get close to me, okay? So either this could be something you're saying to this person or you want to say to this person or something that this person wants to say to you. I replay our conversations over and over. So if this is someone you've had conversation with, uh, either you or this person may be replaying who, uh, your guys' conversations. I hid who I really am from you and I couldn't let you get close to me. Oh boy. So off the bat, Libra, um, you may have been dealing with someone here who wasn't being completely authentic or you weren't, um, someone here may have hid who they really are. I don't know if this is someone you had a sexual union with or, <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm starting to understand our connection and I will wait for a sign from you. So someone here may be feeling like there is a connection between the two of you. Um, with this, I will wait for a sign from you. There may be no communication or someone here may be waiting for the other one to speak up. Your person, let's say Libra, with this coming up as your person's energy, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. So I don't know, Libra, are you in another connection and you couldn't let this person get close to you? Did you have a sexual union with this person or you feel some type of a a bond with whoever this is um, and your person is needing to accept the fact that, you know, um, this, you know, may have only been sexual. I don't know. All right. So let's see. This is, we're going to go into the Andromeda skies, pulling four cards from here. Um, and then we'll jump into your tarot reading, close out a few oracles at the end. So see what's going on for the end of May. All right. I, <laughs> you literally have, I have sexual fantasies about you. Yo, Libra, what did you do to this person? Okay, there is so much I want to tell you showing itself, and I still have growing to do showing itself. Okay, let's get three more cards. All right. You make me want to be a better person. Oh. Um, I think the world of you. So someone here may like put someone on a pedestal, highly be thinking of the other person. You make either you make this person want to be a better person or this person makes you want to be a better person. <sighs> there is definitely some. Yeah. And there was someone interfering in our relationship. So this definitely sounds like a third party with this. You are always on my mind. I feel like someone here definitely possibly could have stepped out on a situation or if they didn't they're thinking about it 
Um, this I have sexual fantasies about you. I couldn't get close to you. So someone may be in another connection, but they are not being honest about that or they're hiding it from I got like little hairs all over. Um or this is something, you know, that was sex based or something or this could even be someone who you've been intimate with before. If this isn't necessarily a third party, like say you were intimate with somebody and then you got into a connection and you guys started talking again. But, you know, like I'm, the point I'm trying to make is maybe there was no cheating here because I don't necessarily see that. But this may be somebody who you've had a sexual union with and you may fantasize about this person. This person may fantasize about you. But some you guys may be talking or something. Um, and uh, someone's not letting the other person know that, hey, I'm married or I'm in a connection or whatever this is. OK. Um, all right, so let's see. Let's move on to the tarot. Keep in mind, these energies can also be reversed, Libra. So I'll read you on this side, your person on this side. So first card out, single jumping cards only will be taken in my reading. Spirit, you already know how I roll. What is Libra's overall energy for the remainder of May? What is Libra's overall energy, please, for the remainder of May? Libra's person. Damn, the Ten of Pentacles. So maybe you are in a family or a union or a long-standing commitment here. Financial security for yourself and for your family. Inheritance or retirement. Peace and contentment in your life. Honoring family traditions. Pride in the family tree and passing on knowledge. So what is Libra's person? The person on Libra's mind? What is their overall energy? Person on Libra's mind? Too many. Um, the Six of Pentacles wanting to show itself. Okay, person on Libra's mind. Single cards, please, Spirit. Yeah. So the Five of Pentacles for your person. Negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges, fear surrounding money, reach out to others for assistance and poor timing for becoming self-employed. So whoever this is that you're thinking about or dealing with, this person could be going through some type of financial setbacks. They may be feeling left out behind or left behind by you. Um, they may be having some type of negative thoughts, health problems, financial struggles. They may be, uh, there could be job loss or homelessness in this person's energy. So acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change, which is beyond our control. So something here with you being in the Ten of Pentacles, you may be financially stable. You could be wealthy. You could be married. You could, you know, be doing very well for yourself. And whoever you're dealing with or thinking of or thinking about, they may not be so much. Okay. Um Show me Libra's emotions, please. Page of Swords. Show me Libra's person's emotions. So you could be in this energy of trying to get more information. You may be keeping your eye on this person, Libra. Logical, perceptive, blunt, insightful, an exciting intellectual challenge. Um, brilliant insights that may need information. Let me read that again. Brilliant ins insights, information that... You need but might be challenging to receive review all documents carefully so i don't know if you went looking you may have seen some things or this person did with you i don't know when it comes to your emotions though i feel like you're trying to get more information um you're trying to be this could even talk about like light communication light you know being careful with how you speak or communicate with this person uh, keeping it light with the six of coins, five of coins, six of coins in this person's emotions. This person may be needing your assistance and maybe they're asking or emotionally they're needing something from you or they're wanting some type of generosity from you. The good you do comes back to you. Unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely, paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others who are less fortunate. But when they go from the five of pentacles to the six of pentacles, so this person may be, you know... I don't know if you were given to this person um, or what, or, you know, maybe this person's needing your help. Maybe this is somebody who you may be 
trying to... I don't know. Could you, maybe you signed some type of documents with this person or let this person borrow some money, signed a little contract like, hey, uh, if I lend you this money, you promise to pay me, you know, by this time or some something like that. Because you could be dealing with someone who may be struggling in some sense. Okay, show me Libra's next move, please. Show me Libra's person's next move. I don't know if this is someone who you were intimate with. Okay, the wheel. Yeah, I feel like you're someone who's very fortunate. Your next move, the wheel. So a fresh new start, the end of delays, sudden or unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life, travel or a new vehicle. So, Lira. Some of you, whoever you are, I feel like you're someone who's very fortunate, okay? Um, you're someone who has a good karma. You may have done some type of good deed or you may have helped somebody out. Show me this person on Libra's mind. What is their next move? You may also be waiting on something, like waiting on divine timing or waiting for something to change. Okay, whatever that is, I don't know. But Libra's person, what is their next move, please? Person on Libra's mind, what is their next move? So the Queen of Pentacles and Transformation, Scorpio energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This person may be going through some type of significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free of procrastination, and releasing old belief systems. With this Queen of Pentacles as their next move, this person may be, you know, waiting on some type of finances or waiting for something to grow, waiting for something monetary to change, transform. Or a change to this person's status. Or there's a change in this person's status. Maybe this is someone who you've helped. Libra. This person could be in a commitment or this could be a business contract as well. Maybe you signed a business contract with this person. And you're waiting for like their... Maybe their pay to increase or yeah because you're waiting on some type of change or something here that's faded or something to come back around okay with the wheel show me libra's intentions please what is libra's intention single cards yeah this could be someone who you've been working on something with or helping this person build something five of cups is your intentions Focusing on the negative, things not turning out the way you anticipated, forgiveness of self and for others. Everything happens for a reason. Look for the hidden blessings. So, Libra, I don't know if you're focusing on the negative side of a situation. Maybe something here isn't turning out the way that you anticipated. However, something here is happening just as it should, especially with the wheel and the transformation. Something here is faded or something here was meant to happen this way, even if it wasn't the way that you expected, okay? Show me the person that's on Libra's mind. What is their intentions? Or you're expecting for something not to turn out the way you want. Okay, be careful with that because you could manifest it. Um, show me the person on Libra's mind. What is their intentions? The person on Libra's mind. The Knight of Pentacles. There's a whole lot of pentacles over here. Um... Hmm. So the Knight of Pentacles, loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive, plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details, wait for the perfect timing, and a guardian angel or someone who watches over you. 
So with this being this person's intentions, um, Libra, did I call you Pisces? I feel like I did. I do a lot of Pisces readings. I know I'm reading for Libra. Anyways, um, I just had like deja vu. Um, loyal, dedicated, protective. So this person may be planning. This person may be, you know, slow moving, but slow and steady wins the race. So maybe if you're expecting for something to happen quicker, this may just be somebody who they may have earth in there. This per could be an earth sign who you're dealing with, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone who has strong earth in their chart. They may have Scorpio in their chart as well. But um, this person is someone who is, they move very slowly. They plan, they're planning something out. Um, they're, they're waiting for the perfect timing. Or this is someone who, you know, with all this earth energy, I'm getting like Virgo energy. Like someone who's very uh, detailed or particular or meticulous or a perfectionist there we go like someone who may be planning something out very carefully um but whatever it is that they are planning i do feel like it will grow okay this person may be even going through some like major life things in their own life when it comes to their finances that could be hindering their progress or slowing it down like so say if this person has other things in their life that could be taking away from their time, energy, resources. That could be what's slowing this person down. Especially if you let this person, if you invested into this person or you let this person borrow money or you sign some type of contract with this person and you're waiting on like a return of something and you're not seeing that come in, be careful that you're not going to manifest that. Because I do feel like this person has good intentions to do this, to, to like return it back to you. But there may be something that's slowing this person's progress down. Okay. Show me the outcome here for Libra. Show me the outcome, please, for Libra. If this reading is resonating with you, please smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Please do so. If you guys want a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. Let's see what the outcome is for me. Knight of Swords. <clears throat> Knight of Swords is decisive, focused, driven defensive events that move with great speed choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional sudden or unexpected changes review your options carefully so with this libra uh let me just keep going before i say too much but um queen of swords in the reverse libra so here um With this Queen of Swords in the reverse, this is air energy. Um, you may be... Okay, I can read this a few ways. Let me just get all the cards out. I want to talk now to like get it out of my mind. Maybe I should. So from what I'm seeing here, you may be making some type of impulsive decision to say something, speak something, make some type of a quick-witted decision or speak something clearly like, yo. But and it may be coming from a place of anger or resentment or... You know, this could even be, if you're not, this could be you like deciding I ain't talking to you. I'm not speaking to you. Um, you may be giving somebody an ultimatum here with this two of wands. Okay. But it may be coming from a place of like anger, hurt. And this is telling you to um, choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. And here within your intentions, I see the emotions here, the five of cups of you feeling regretful, like, damn. Maybe I shouldn't have done this, you know, because this person is, you know, whatever. Maybe, the, you know, this five of pentacles too. Maybe this person has a lot of debt, you know, um, seven of wands. So, yeah, you may be very defensive towards this person. You may be putting your guards up. You may be um, uh, the seven of wands. You may be um, standing your ground with this person and for yourself and for your beliefs, having confidence, challenging those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. So you may be thinking about challenging this person. This person may need to defend themselves or you may feel the need to defend yourself because you could be in this nine of pentacles energy, someone who's very single, stable, even, or well, I don't want to say single because you may not be single, but um, either way, you're someone who's very independent. Okay. You may own your own business. You may have, you know, 
you know, with this Ten of Pentacles, you may have built up a legacy for yourself. You may be somebody who has your own house, your own car, your own business. You have enough to give to others who are less fortunate, right? And I feel like you may have given to this person. Um, anyways, Six of Wands. So victory, wise choices that bring public recognition and success. Uh, promotions, awards, and scholarships. So with this Nine of Pentacles, you may be like, you know, enjoying the fruits of your labors, okay, hard work that has led to a luxurious life, buying yourself something special, happily and successfully self-employed, enjoying your solitude. You're someone you could be in the public eye or well-known in your community, someone who's very successful, independent, high-ranking, okay, whatever it is that you do, and you may be feeling the need to, like, oppose somebody or stand up for yourself, um, you may be giving someone an ultimatum, but with this Queen of Swords in the reverse, I don't know if you're doing this out of spite or anger or, or you're just upset with this person and you're making a, a quick rash decision to like either cut somebody off, cut somebody out or to like do something here, maybe stop communicating with somebody or I don't see love here. So I don't know if this is a love reading. Um, maybe there was an intimate connection between you two at one point, but maybe you helped this person out. Maybe you think of this person very highly or this person thinks of you very highly. Maybe you help this person transform. There could be some type of sexual tension or fantasies about one another, whether you're in a situation or not. Somebody may have hid who they really were from you. Like maybe you thought that this person was one way, but really they could have been broke five in the five of pentacles, like with a lot of debt, uh, homeless and something, 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 uh, you know, going through some type of major setbacks and you were generous to this person or this person asked you for a handout or asked for some type of generosity. This person may even have some type of a disability is what I'm seeing here because this person's in a wheelchair and they don't have to, but for someone they might. And this person may have asked you for some type of generosity and you may have like done something out of compassion. Okay. This could be another earth sign. Um, or you wanted to help this person grow or build or become stable, Queen of Pentacles, maybe you went into business with this person or you helped this person start a business, but whatever they're doing is slow. It's, you know, it's taking some time with this Knight of Pentacles or maybe this person is choosing to take their time for whatever reason. Maybe they're a perfectionist. Maybe they do have disabilities or maybe they're just slow or maybe they have debts that they need to pay off first, you know, that's causing them return on their finances not to come in as quick, okay? And you may be over here in this Ten of Pentacles kind of like looking over some type of paperwork or some documents waiting for some type of, you know, the wheel. It's like waiting on this change, waiting for something to turn. Like, come on, let's go, let's go. And now you're kind of looking at the situation and regret. Like, damn, did I make the wrong choice here? Okay. All right. So where are we at? 23. I do feel like this situation will turn around for the better, Libra. Because the Six of Wands and Nine of Pentacles is here, but you may be like defensive or you may have to like, I don't know, put your guards up or put your boundaries up or like tell this person like, yo, you know, Two of Wands, maybe give this person an ultimatum. Why is the Knight of Swords here? But don't do it out of a place of like spite. Like don't do something like you said, you. and I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Do whatever the hell you want to do, but... With this Queen of Swords in the reverse, she can be bitter sometimes. She could be spiteful, you know. Um, not saying you are that type of person, but the situation may make you feel that way. Okay, and the Knight of Swords too can talk about like anger, saying doing something impulsively, you know. Um, the King of Wands could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you may be communicating with one. You may be taking action towards one, uh, some type of decisive action. You could be very defensive or you know, guarded or putting up some type of boundaries with this person or setting some type of ground rules or, I don't know. Okay, two of wands, please. But, you know, choose unemotional responses. You know, six of swords. Yeah, you may be giving this person an ultimatum in order to, like, move this situation into a more peaceful place. Like, hey, you can do this or you could do this. or Because six of swords talks about being guided, being led, making a choice to move something into a better place. Like, hey, you can, if you can't afford to pay me 500 a month, or if you can't afford to pay me by, um, 
uh, you know, whatever the contract said, can you at least pay me $100 a week? Or can you do that? It's like you're giving this person an ultimatum in order to move this thing into a calmer waters, but you may have to get like, you may have to take action towards this person to like stand your ground with them or something. Show me the seven of wands and nine of cups. Show me the nine of pentacles. Four of wands. Yeah, you could be you could be like independent, stable. You may have a nice home, a lot of nice things around you. You you know, this person, someone here may have made like a romantic gesture and someone may have blocked it. Like so I don't know who did what, and I'm not going to try and figure it out. But um, with this sexual union and this stuff, like maybe somebody made some type of advances, emotional advances, and they were blocked or somebody here was defensive or guarded towards these or set up some type of boundaries. And this could have made somebody mad or something. Maybe you did this. Maybe you set your boundaries with this person's emotional advances. Okay. And the death card. Yeah, something will change here, change and transform. Okay, something here will turn out victorious in a situation. Can I get one more? Yeah, the full card. Something here will lead to a positive new opportunity, a new beginning. It's just slow, like I said. Okay, and I don't see love here. I feel like there may have been some emotional advances or something that maybe some sex or something. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. But I don't know if someone got blocked or rejected or you know whatever or someone's blocking someone's emotional advances okay whoever this is this person could be very attractive or you're this king of wands you're someone that's very attractive and you may be making this uh you know decision here someone here is all right so i'm gonna leave this reading here actually i'm gonna get three cards from here like i said and like i said i don't feel like this is a love reading i feel like this is some other situation ship there is someone interfering in our situationship. I don't know what that is. And, you know, maybe someone is married. Maybe that's why this, you know, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Maybe this isn't the right deck. Um, hmm. Let's use the fortune cookie cards then. Can I get three cards, please, Spirit? To close this reading out. Thank you. Nature. Interact with nature and the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good for the soul and healing for you. And then we have property. A property purchase or sale for many, but heed security concerns in any transactions. Yeah, and travel. Long distance communication will open up for your open up your life. Exciting experience for singles and career advancement for others. So I don't know if this is someone you know from a distance or Someone at a distance. This may have to do with the property sale because we do have the five of pentacles here. So I do feel like someone is helping someone get on their feet or get some type of stability. It helps somebody create some type of change within their finances, their stability, their home, whatever this is. Um, and someone here may need to get out and interact with nature in order to kind of feel better about something here. So I'm going to leave this reading here. If it helped, give you clarity, let me know. Smash that thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.